This video is going to explain how to put a stick zap on your Sony Clie from using Palm Desktop. I will not be explaining how to get Palm Desktop on your Windows 10 computer. Um, you have to go download an updated driver. I forget where I found it, but they're out there. Do some Google searching, you can find it. But once you get that loaded, let me show you how you get stick zap onto your Clie. So open up Palm Desktop, go to install, go to the Ibo Helper is the name of my, I've already set it up on here, but that's the name of my Clie. So you want to add, you go to where you've saved, um, here we go, documents, where you've saved your Clie software or your StickSap software, which is here and click open and done. And it tells me next time I perform a hot sync on my Clie, it will show up on there. So then going to the Clie, um, you go to perform a hot sync, which is right here, you click that. And you wanna do it local, because it's plugged into the computer. So you click the hot sync button and it will talk to my computer. Go back to the computer. It wants to make sure this is where you want to do it. So I select Ibo Helper, click OK. It's identifying who I am and putting the software on the Clie. And it takes a little bit of time to do this. Um, but every time I unplug this thing, the battery's dead, so I have to reinstall it. But this is sort of to help me remember how to do it. As you see, it's going very slowly. So I'll come back when it's done and show you that it's working. Okay. So now we need to restart your handheld by tapping the button below. It'll restart. <clears throat> okay. I just go ahead and bypass this and hit the home button. That'll take me here. And if you scroll down, you'll see, see StickZap. So now StickZap is installed on this Clie until I unplug it. Now I'm going to take you through the process of using a blank Sony memory stick. This is an MSA memory stick. You can see that there. Um, we're going to first zap this stick using stick zap, and then we're going to put a software on here. So the first thing to do that is you need, and this is not a programmable memory stick yet, but we're going to make it into a programmable memory stick. So you put that into your Clie. It reads the stick and you just Go back home, scroll down. If I can hit it, there we go. Oops, one more. Go to stick zap and you just click okay, okay. And then right now it says it's blank. So you want to make this a programmable memory stick so you can put everywhere on here. So you click that drop down menu and you click zap PMS and that will change it from blank to a PMS stick. You click OK, yes. All right, click OK, and let's just check it. So it's, right now it says blank, so we'll check. And now it says programmable memory stick. Now we can put Iboware on here. So let's go ahead and remove it from the Clie, put it into the stick reader, and that will bring it up on the computer. And don't worry about all of these things. Those were put in there because you put in the Clie. Don't worry about those. All right, so we're going to go and put Ibleware on here. So let's open up a new. So I wanted to put Life 3 for the ERS31X. So I'm going to drag this information over here. I have all of these files saved on my computer. So let me uh, shift. 
All right, and I want to drag these files onto the stick. And so those will transfer over and it takes a little bit of time actually, even though it's only a 32 megabyte stick, I think there's like less than eight megabytes, but it seems to take a while. So you just let it do its thing, do to do, do. Don't worry about that palm folder, I think I said that already. And I will just let it overwrite this memstick ind file. Come on. Almost there. Oh, that's like a minute of my life. Okay. Yes, replace the desktop, the file. Done. All right. Now what we need to do is go to where I have the BIN files and go down to here. That's where I keep them. And you look for life three and you want to put that in the open r folder so open up the open r folder that's the root folder drag this on over hopefully it copies it yes it did all right now this you need to rename stick safe that is s t i k s a f e um that's how you need to spell it so now that you've done that, you can take this, safely remove this. I gotta close it first. Boop. Oh, make sure I save that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, we're gonna hope I did. All right, so safely eject that. Take it out of here. Put it into your plie. Boop. It reads the stick, so go back to your home and scroll down to sticks app okay and okay so now you have it says it has ibolife but it still says pms stick so you need to use the safety that stick safe is thing that you did and it said you want to change it from the pms to ibolife yes and it says okay it did it now i'm just going to click check and when I click check, it's going to say everything's okay. Yay! <laughs> so now this stick will run this software in your iBo. I hope this helps somebody.